The Latin adverb sic, thus, just as, in full, sic erat scriptum, thus was it written. Inserted after a quoted word or passage indicates that the quoted matter has been transcribed or translated exactly as found in the source text, complete with any erroneous, archaic, or otherwise non-standard spelling. It also applies to any surprising assertion, faulty reasoning, or other matter that might be likely interpreted as an error of transcription. The usual usage is to inform the reader that any errors or apparent errors in quoted material do not arise from errors in the course of the transcription, but are intentionally reproduced, exactly as they appear in the source text. It is generally placed inside square brackets to indicate that it is not part of the quoted matter. SIC may also be used derisively by the proofreader, to call attention to the original writer's spelling mistakes or erroneous logic, or to show general disapproval or dislike of the material. Etymology and historical usage Though occasionally misidentified as an abbreviated word, sic is a Latin adverb used in English as an adverb, and, derivatively, as a noun and a verb. The adverb sic, meaning, intentionally so written, first appeared in English circa 1856. It is derived from the Latin adverb sic, which means, so, thus, in this manner. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the verbal form of sick, meaning, to mark with a sick, emerged in 1889, E. Belfort Bax's work in The Ethics of Socialism being an early example. <laughs> False etymologies On occasion, sick has been misidentified as an acronym and therefore sometimes misspelled with full stops, periods. S I C is said to stand for spelled in context, said in copy, spelling is correct, spelled incorrectly, and other such folk etymology phrases. These are all incorrect and are simply backronyms from sick. Topic: <laughs> Modern usage. Use of sick greatly increased in the mid-20th century. For example, in United States state court opinions before 1944, sick appeared 1,239 times in the Westlaw database, in those from 1945 to 1990, it appeared 69,168 times. The benighted use as a form of ridicule, deserved or otherwise, has been cited as a major factor in this increase, the immoderate. Use of sick has created some controversy, leading some editors, including bibliographical scholar Simon Noel Smith and literary critic Leon Adele, to speak out against it. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conventional usage. Sick, in its bracketed form, is most often inserted into quoted or reprinted material to indicate meticulous accuracy in reproducing the preceding text, despite appearances to the reader of an incorrect or unusual orthography spelling, punctuation, grammar, syntax, fact, logic, etc. Several usage guides recommend that a bracketed sick be used primarily as an aid to the reader, and not as an indicator of disagreement with the source. Topic. To denote archaisms and dialect A sikh may show that an uncommon or archaic expression is reported faithfully, such as when quoting the U.S. Constitution, "...the House of Representatives shall choose sikh their speaker." Several writing guidebooks discourage its use with regard to dialect, such as in cases of American and British English spelling differences. The appearance of a bracketed sick after the word analyze in a book review led Brian A. Garner to comment. All the quoter or overzealous editor demonstrated was ignorance of British usage. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Wordplay. Various wordplay employing the word sick is possible, arising either from its secondary meaning to attack or from its homophone sick. For example, "...poor grammar makes me sick," has been featured on garments and postcards. In a different vein, a letter to the American Journal of Rentgenology suggested that the overuse of sick as a kind of linguistic discrimination against non-native writers of English, 
could lead readers to become sick of your sick. Topic: <laughs> Form of ridicule. The use of sick can be seen as an appeal to ridicule, whether intentional or not, because it highlights perceived irregularities. The application of sick with intent to disparage has been called the benighted use because it reflects a false sense of superiority in its users. The following example from the Times of London demonstrates how the interpolation of sick can discredit a quoted statement. Warehouse has been around for 30 years and has 263 stores, suggesting a large fan base. The chain sums up its appeal thus, styly sick, confident, sexy, glamorous, edgy, clean and individual, with its sick finger on the fashion pulse. Ironic use Occasionally a writer places sick after his own words, to indicate that the language has been chosen deliberately for special effect, especially where the writer's ironic meaning may otherwise be unclear. Brian A. Garner dubbed this use of sick, "...ironic", providing the following example from Fred Rodell's 1955 book Nine Men. I n 1951, it was the blessing bestowed on Judge Harold Medina's prosecution sick of the eleven so-called top native communists, which blessing meant giving the Smith Act the judicial nod of constitutionality. <laughs> Formatting Where sick follows the quotation, it takes brackets, sick. The word sick is usually treated as a loanword that does not require italics, and the style manuals of New Zealand, Australian and British media outlets generally do not require italicization. However, italicization is common in the United States, where authorities including APA style insist upon it, because sick is not an abbreviation, placing a full stop period inside the brackets after the word sick is erroneous. Although at least one style guide suggests styling it as a parenthetical sentence only when used after a complete sentence, like so, sick. It is occasionally followed by an exclamation mark, perhaps more indicative of derision. Criticism <coughs> 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 Use of sick has been noted for its potential to bring about linguistic discrimination. A letter written to the American Journal of Rentgenology has been cited in the journal's French counterpart, the Journal de Radiology, highlighting how apparent prejudices among English-language journals may be causing a higher rejection rate of scholarly papers from Francophone authors, a concern because English is the lingua franca for medicine. In the letter, the AJR was criticized for its frequent insertion of SICK when publishing letters written by French and Japanese authors even though its correspondence acceptance policy reserved the right of copy editing, which could therefore have been used beneficially to correct minor English language errors made by non-English speakers. In response, Lee F. Rogers, the editor-in-chief of AJR, apologized for the possible discriminatory interpretation and offered the following explanation for its decision to insert SICK on multiple occasions rather than to copy edit. It is true that our manuscript editors normally remedy errors in the use of the English language to ensure reader understanding and to avoid embarrassing our non-English speaking authors. However, because of the seriousness of the allegations addressed, we believed that verbatim quotes were necessary. Under such circumstances, we did not think it correct for us to assume the meaning of misspelled words or the intent of the author of the letter in question. Topic: Alternatives. Topic: Replacement. Some guides, including the Chicago Manual of Style, recommend quiet copy editing unless where inappropriate or uncertain instead of inserting a bracketed sick, such as by substituting in brackets the correct word in place of the incorrect word or by simply replacing an incorrect spelling with the correct one. Topic: <laughs> Rect Alternatively, to show both the original and the suggested correction as they often are in paleography, one may give the actual form, followed by rect, then the corrected form, in brackets. The Latin adverb rect means rightly. 
An Iraqi battalion has consumed wrecked assumed control of the former American military base, and our forces are now about 40 minutes outside the city. According to the Journal of 17th Century Music Style Sheet, there should be no punctuation, for example no colon, before the corrected word when using wrecked. Read A third alternative is to follow an error with sick, a comma or colon, read, and the correct reading, all within square brackets, as in the following example Plan of space alongside evening hues, sick, read evening news, printing works and overlooked by St. Giles House University Hall. See also List of Latin phrases Sic et non Sic semper tyrannis Sic transit gloria mundi Stet Dictated but not read Viz. <laughs>